in the spirit of God's all-embracing love that brings us together as the world confronts this pandemic, let us bow our heads in prayer. Dear God, we thank you for the blessings that you give to us each day. We say thank you in a special way today for the gifts that you've given to these graduates of the class of 2020. We thank you for all of those who inspired them throughout their lives, those who have been a source of hope and encouragement to them. We thank you for their parents, their grandparents, all who in any way have helped to form them and to make them instruments of your love and goodness to all the world. We ask your blessing on their families and friends and all who celebrate their graduation from St. Vincent College today. We ask your special blessing on the mothers on this Mother's Day weekend and all of those who have played a source of, as a source of hope and encouragement for our students in these times in which they have prepared to, to become instruments of your love and goodness to all the world. Fill our hearts with gratitude for all of those who have gone before us in faith and help us to be good instruments of what you've given to us as our talents and strengths. We ask your blessing in a special way on our Bishop Edward Molesic, on our board chairman, Chris Dunahue, and the members of the board. We ask your blessing on our president, Father Paul Taylor, on our faculty, administration, and staff, and all of those here at St. Vincent who each day work on behalf of the students of St. Vincent College. We ask you to bless our students in a special way as they go forth. Help them always to be mindful that you are with them at every moment in life's journey. We ask this all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Arch Abbott, and welcome to this virtual celebration of Commencement 2020. Very shortly, graduates, you will be graduated and your degrees conferred upon you in this very unique year. You have all worked hard over these four years and have been asked to climb a steeper hill in these last few months. This difficulty, however, I believe you can turn into a badge of honor and that your degree from St. Vincent this year will have a unique quality to it that says excellence because in these last moments, you have risen to the challenge, and you have succeeded. I'm grateful to the faculty and to each of you students for the efforts that you put forward in these last months, and indeed throughout these last years where you worked to um, build your life so that you could commence today your life ahead. We wish you many blessings, and we look forward to homecoming weekend, September 27th, the Solemnity of St. Vincent de Paul, when we will be together to celebrate your graduation. God bless you. Graduates of the St. Vincent class of 2020, and all who join us here today, we gather as we do each commencement to recognize the accomplishments of our graduates, to give thanks to those who have made these accomplishments possible to officially award your degrees, and to wish you well as you take your next steps on your life's journey. While we look forward to a fall celebration in which we can gather in person and on campus, today is the official date of your conferral of degree. Today, we celebrate your achievement. First, let us take a moment to think about those who have supported you, your families, your fellow classmates, your friends, and the faculty, administration, and staff of St. Vincent. Without their sacrifices, their prayers, their example, their teaching, none of us could be here today. The way we gather today, together virtually, while physically apart, reflects the unique and challenging times that have marked the conclusion of your academic studies and the next steps that you'll be taking. 
We thank the faculty, administration, and staff of the college whose collaboration, creativity, and adaptability allowed the conclusion of this semester. To all students of the college, thank you for your perseverance, your dedication to your studies, and your bearcat attitude that shined through over the past two months. Those graduating today, the faculty and the administration of the college thank you for all you have shared to build up the St. Vincent community. The end of this semester and the uncertainties of the future are not what any of us envisioned when the semester started. They never are in times of crises. St. Vincent graduating classes who face the toughest challenges, whether it was the Civil War, the Great Depression, World Wars, the fire of 1963, the Vietnam War and civil unrest, or the threat of terrorism. Those are the classes that history remembers with special distinction. As steel is tempered by fire, the human spirit grows to meet the challenges of the times. You have received an excellent education that is rooted in our Catholic, Benedictine, liberal arts and sciences values and traditions. You excelled in the classroom, the laboratory, in internships, on the field or the court, and through other co-curricular activities. You are prepared to make a positive difference in your families, your communities, the nation, and the world. They need you, we need you, and you are ready. We look forward to your frequent returns, to coming back to this home, to share your stories with us. It is an honor on this ninth day of May in the year 2020, on behalf of the Board of Directors, the administration, and the faculty of St. Vincent to confer the degrees to the class of 2020. Congratulations and Godspeed. I know I speak for all the faculty within our school when I say that we are so proud of what you have accomplished. Especially during your last semester at St. Vincent, you have had to face unprecedented obstacles to complete your education, but you did it. And in doing so, you showed the flexibility, the resilience, and the dedication that we hope that an education within the Catholic Benedictine liberal arts tradition will provide. You also showed yourself capable of handling whatever life throws at you next. We are grateful too to your family and to your friends who supported you during your education at St. Vincent. And so to all of our seniors within all of our major programs and to our Bearcat Fest graduates, on behalf of all of our faculty, I want to offer my warm congratulations to the 2020 graduating class of the School of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences at St. Vincent College. To the graduates of the class of 2020, congratulations. On behalf of the Boyer School faculty and staff, I offer you our congratulations on your accomplishments, your perseverance, and your abilities to navigate challenges and transitions presented this semester through COVID-19's arrival. This semester has tested you in ways that you never imagined when you arrived back on campus in January to start your last semester, and you've succeeded in these challenging times. As you go forward and encounter future hurdles, remember what you've accomplished this semester and draw strength from that to guide you in difficult times. Congratulations again. And with that, I would like to add, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the graduates of the Herbert W. Boyer School of Natural Sciences, Mathematics, and Computing. Kenneth School graduates, your hard work has paid off and you've laid a fine academic foundation for your career path. We are proud of you and we look forward to our relationship with you as alumni. If you need assistance with your job search, contact us. We will provide references and connect you with well-placed alumni. If you pursue an advanced degree, we will provide you with recommendations and advice. The first two working years are all about building relationships, networking, building new job skills. Don't be afraid to relocate, even abroad. But wherever you go, join an SVC alumni chapter. Keep in contact. I hope to see you at homecoming, and visit the, the McKenna School tent. I also hope to see you at the September 27th commencement. 
So to you, our graduating class of 2020, on behalf of the faculty and staff of the Alex G. McKenna School of Business, Economics, and Government, congratulations. Congratulations, St. Vincent's class of 2020. On behalf of the board of directors of the college, we applaud your accomplishments and look forward to you undertaking your life's work. COVID times will be a memorable explanation point to what you have accomplished in your years at St. Vincent's. As much as we would enjoy the usual ceremony, if we have gratitude for what's been given to us, we will have joy in our hearts. Each of you is well prepared to respond to any challenge. Benedictine spirituality and education has prospered for over 1,500 years. You will all prove that the next hundred will be no different. Thank you for what you have done at St. Vincent's and for St. Vincent's and what you will do in the future. Father Paul, thank you for inviting me to join this very special St. Vincent College commencement. And thank you for your thoughtful leadership in these challenging times. Archabbot Douglas, happy birthday, and congratulations and thank you for 30 years as Archabbot and leader of this vibrant Benedictine community that has touched all of our lives. We have been blessed by your presence, your spiritual, moral, and institutional leadership, and we pray that you will be blessed with many years of good health and contentment. To the class of 2020, congratulations on your significant accomplishment. You have worked hard, blazed your trail, and earned this moment. I have a thought to share with you. I think we're on the verge of a new human era. The systems that have failed us will fall and new systems will be created. The future potential of this present moment may be unmatched in human history. And you, the class of 2020, are the vanguard, the leaders who could take us into this better world. I could not have more confidence in any group to lead us forward. I so look forward to continuing this conversation with you as fellow Bearcats in September. God bless you all. On behalf of the class of 2020, I thank you all for joining us today. I believe that we can all agree that many of life's events tend to start without warning or begin smoothly and throw the brakes on at the last second and come to an end. Looking at our time here at St. Vincent, as an example, we come in as freshmen, and years later, we were cut a little short as seniors. We need not to look at this abrupt ending, or necessarily the start, but all the fond moments that were in that span. All the great times that were had that overshadow a not-so-storybook ending. After thinking about how ordinary people do extraordinary things, I believe it is because of their ability to adjust. Be flexible in all roles that you will play in your life. And because of your ability to change on the fly, you will work yourself into great positions in whatever you find yourself doing. Please continue to make great choices that concern your health, family, and reputation. Now take a step forward with confidence, and the same for every step after that. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Many people, as well as myself, look forward to seeing all that you accomplish. Thank you. St. Vincent has been a place to call home for the past four years, and I can always rely on a friendly face to hold open a door, whether I know them or not, just long enough to make it awkward. But that's St. Vincent for you. We're a family that has stuck together through thick and thin, and we've always had each other's backs. To the class of 2020, one thing that's helped me specifically get through this difficult time is realizing that we had something special at St. Vincent. Hi class of 2020, 
Having a bond with our class is priceless. Our class is filled with some of the most genuine and talented people I have ever met. We have grown so close while being at a distance this past month and a half, and I know we can maintain those beautiful friendships. To me, St. Vincent has been a family and a home. See, the community has allowed me to grow tremendously into who I am today. I hope to run into the class of 2020 all over the place in the future. To me, St. Vincent is a place where you make lifelong connections to faculty, lifelong connections to friends. It's a place of inspiration and it's a place of purpose. And I want to give a message to the class of 2020, and that is just to stay strong. We've made it this far and we'll continue to make it even further. I nearly failed out my first semester. I was really struggling whenever I first came in. And I know that without the support of a lot of you, I wouldn't still be here. Thanks to the Opportunity Program, my family, friends, and professors, I'm graduating, which is insane. Uh, I've had the opportunity to study abroad and do research internationally, um, despite financial hardship. And I'm attending grad school in the fall none of which would have been possible on my own. And I'm very grateful that today I get to be that helping hand which was once extended to me. St. Vincent College has taught us the Benedictine values and I think the one that resonates the best with the class of 2020 is community and the fact that we were always there for each other through our academics, our sports, our clubs, everything you name it, we were there. And if this is the hardest thing we have to overcome in our lives, Think of the amazing things we'll be able to do, not just for ourselves, but for our community and the world. And while we've been dealt a bad card, we get the opportunity to make it better. Best wishes for everything you do. Greetings to all of grads, and congratulations to us all. I am so happy and proud to be a member of the 2020 St. Vincent graduating class. I wish you all success and I will miss you, especially my wonderful workout class teachers. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Best of luck to all the Bearcats of the future. As far as the class of 2020 goes, one word comes to mind, family. We really are a family now through all of this trying time. We have held true and held together and that really brings forth the truth about St. Vincent, that when you come to St. Vincent, you are in a family and you are a person. So I am so thankful to be a part of this great class and I can't wait to see what we all do in the future. SBC is my home away from home. St. Vincent to me means opportunity. I've had the opportunity to study abroad in South Africa, broaden my horizons and get out of my comfort zone and meet some of my forever friends. For the class of 2020, I know it's kind of disappointing that we won't be walking across the stage right now, but congratulations for where we are right now. Congrats on this accomplishment, Bearcats. Make sure you take time to celebrate with your loved ones everything that you just achieved. St. Vincent is special, and you know why, so everyone you come into contact with, share some of St. Vincent with them. Congratulations, class of 2020. You've made our community a better place by being part of it. Now it's time for you to go out and make the world a better place. But remember, you always have a home here at St. Vincent College. Congratulations to the most memorable graduating class in the history of St. Vincent College 2020. 2020, but remember the words of the little prince. What is essential is invisible to the eye. It is only with the heart that one sees rightly. Congratulations, 2020 St. Vincent College graduates and Bearcat Best students. I will miss seeing you walk across the stage and I will miss cheering with you and for you. It is an exciting new time in your life where you're gonna be making this next step. And so take that excitement and the nervousness and move forward. Class of 2020, congratulations. I miss seeing you. Um, I guess my advice for you would be that when you have to make a difficult decision, choose the one that most aligns with your values, with what's most important to you at your core, not just what the outside world tells you that you should do. Congratulations to the criminology, law, and society graduates. And the class of 2020. Once a Bearcat, always a Bearcat. The class of 2020 will always be remembered as the one that overcame. 
You always have a home with us at St. Vincent College. This has been the most extraordinary semester, certainly of my 31 years at St. Vincent, and it's been my great delight to go through it with you. My very best wishes and my very best hopes for your future. Congratulations, graduates. You have climbed the mountain. You have put so much effort into getting here and graduating and having a great day. Now, unfortunately, the future, just like Beam Rocks Vista, is a little obscured for some of you. And we just have to be patient and let those clouds clear. Then you can see far, far into the distance. And that's just like what your future is going to be. It's going to be beautiful. Just be patient. Hi, Bearcats. This is the moment you've been waiting for and working towards. I just want to tell you to take every opportunity, find joy in every day, embrace change, and learn from every challenge. I wish all of you the very best. Never forget the power of random acts of kindness and good luck in everything. Congratulations, class of 2020. Remember, it's always better to light a candle than to curse the darkness. It has been an honor and privilege learning with you, praying with you, watching you grow in and outside of the classroom, celebrating your accomplishments today. Woo so be the person that creates magic in this world. The one that turns adversity into triumph, the one that sees the beauty in the darkness. I am so proud of all of you. I particularly want to give a shout out to the integrated science, the environmental science, and the chemistry majors for all the work that you've put in over the last four years. Although this isn't as good as saying thank you in person and, and giving you handshakes and uh, wishing you well and uh, sending you off into the world, after four or five or six good years here at St. Vincent College, I do want to say uh, through video, thank you very much. I've had a wonderful time with you and I miss you all very much. And I hope that you have wonderful and socially able and engaging experiences as we go forward. Hey gang, Coach Jim here. Uh, in honor of class of 2020, I wanted to do four years of St. Vincent in 30 seconds. Come on. Hey, welcome to St. Vincent. Move in day. Benny. PD dance party, our hallmarks, Yellow Plains, Mr. Rogers, Guard Base, Swimming, Jerry Hall, Labs, Tennis, Man, Bird Nerds, Bonnie, Morning Workouts, Baseball, Julie's Yoga, Lacrosse, Brian Nemec, Cross Country, Football, Aurelius, Spirit Fingers, Frisbee, Grisville, Soccer, SGA, Intramural Basketball, Public Safety, Rooney Hall, Chicken, Softball, Rugby, Bearcat Best, Wimmer Hall, Wetlands, Volleyball, Campus Ministry Service Trips, Basketball, Melvin Platts, Bowling, Sebastian's Garden, The Basilica. Bearcats, thanks so much for a great four years. We'll see everybody at homecoming. To the St. Vincent College graduating class of 2020, on behalf of the athletic department, I extend to you our most sincere congratulations. You all have worked very hard and under the most unique circumstances to achieve this milestone in your academic career. Best wishes as you pursue your postgraduate endeavors. And remember, our thoughts and prayers are always with you. To the class of 2020, congratulations. What you have accomplished is something that no class before you ever has. Congratulations, St. Vincent families. It has been so wonderful getting to know so many of you through the years. Thank you for the absolute honor of helping your student to grow through this wonderful time. I'm very proud of all of your accomplishments and I wish you the best of success in the years to come. Keep in touch. So you guys four years ago started your college journey here and it's the same time that I started working at Campus Ministry. So you're, you're a very special class to me. And as a once Bearcat, I wanna to say to you, once a Bearcat, always a Bearcat. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm so proud of all of your accomplishments over these past four years, and I wish you a lifetime of success, joyfulness, and adventure. Okay, class of 2020, you made it. Go out into the world and be yourselves, be leaders, take risks, do the best that you can, and leave the rest up to God. This virtual commencement marks the end of one relationship between us and the beginning of another. On behalf of the entire Alumni Association and our over 12,000 alumni worldwide, 
we'd like to be the first to welcome you as our newest alumni to the St. Vincent Alumni Association. St. Vincent is a place that commands our affection, our loyalty, and is a true inspiration to all of us. SVC has you ready. You can compete with the best of the best out of college. We'll see you all at homecoming in September to celebrate. We know that whatever you do, you'll bring great success with you no matter what path you choose. And we hope when you get to that first destination, you will remember the education you had at St. Vincent and be able to carry that with you in everything you do. And also when you get to that first destination, we hope you'll remember, once a Bearcat, always a Bearcat. Hey graduates, I just wanted to say congratulations on making it through your four years here at St. Vincent. And I wanted to welcome you to the Bearcat alumni family. You'll always have a home here in Latrobe. And remember, once a Bearcat, always a Bearcat. St. Vincent College class of 2020, congratulations. Since your freshman year, we've watched you learn. We've watched you grow. We're so proud of you. We really can't wait to see what you're going to do in this world. Once a Bearcat, always a Bearcat. Take care, be well, and support each other. Once a Bearcat, always a Bearcat. 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 Good job, Clyde! And remember, to everybody in this class and any class that ever graduated from St. Vincent and anyone who will graduate from St. Vincent, once a Bearcat, always a Bearcat. Let us pray. Loving God, as we move through the glorious Easter season and prepare for the joyful Feast of Pentecost, we ask your blessing on these women and men who mark the conclusion of their journey of studies at St. Vincent. We honor them today as they watch from numerous places with the same honor as those who have graduated before them. May they celebrate what they have learned in the classroom, as well as their experience in the heritage of Benedictine monasticism and the love of values inherent in the liberal approach to life and learning that are the foundation of St. Vincent College. Grant them the ability to integrate their professional goals with the broader purposes of human life. May they carry in their hearts the vision of our founder, Father Boniface Wimmer, and always have the desire and drive to go forward, always forward. May the Holy Spirit bless them with the wisdom and gratitude to appreciate the gift of their time and achievements at St. Vincent. May the following blessing from the Hebrew Scriptures be theirs. The Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons, this is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face on shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen. Thank you.